Hi there, my name is Morsuit America. It might be your first time seeing my face and stuff, and it's been a while since I actually uploaded a video. You might be saying, Morph, where where you been? Uh, you know, you say you were gonna upload a couple videos here and there, and you know, keep everyone in the loop and whatnot. I've been just preoccupied with real life, and I had to take care of that. Obviously, you know, real life over video games and me doing this as a hobby. Note to that I'm not getting paid as much when it comes to me producing these videos, and honestly, I still need to do a lot of work with my YouTube channel and stuff. However, once again, I do need to address real life and take care of that before I do this. And then also I'm trying to do something else as well that I mentioned back in August and I'll keep, I'll make a separate video addressing all these things. So I am going to be getting back into YouTube. It's not going to be as many videos. It will vary. I will still have PSO2 content, but in all honesty, I want to branch out and do other things. Note that this isn't supposed to be heavy on PSO2 stuff. The reason why I did was because, you know, Global was getting into it. And I want to address some of the things that were going on. And I still will address some of the things that I still want to talk about. Especially since I'm an OD and I want to address the, the difference between Global and the Japanese PSO2. Because there is a difference, especially if you played at the beginning. But this also goes into my philosophy and other things. My mindset when it comes to you just enjoying a game from the beginning and just seeing the difference from the time you played it at the very beginning to the time that it is or what it is now. So there's a lot of things I want to talk about. I, I can still do a lot of content for PSO2. However, I gotta admit I'm fucking old. <laughs> not, not in terms of my actual age. You, you know, you're seeing my face right now. I look quite young. I'm in my mid-twenties. However, with PSO2, I'm quite fucking old. Especially with like what I've seen, what I've been through, I noticed the patterns and all that. I'll have videos ex like just explaining some of these things, but yeah, I'm just old. I'm old for PSO2, and most of my videos now are geared towards like some of the stuff that people wouldn't normally emphasize on or just you know talk about. And the things that I talk about are just things that I'm personally interested in. There's a lot of videos out there that are already covering a bunch of stuff. A lot of videos that are, you know, going alongside with what Global's going through. A bunch of news and updates. The friendlier guides that explain various things and mechanics. But personally for me, I'm just a fucking OD. I produce a good chunk of videos covering that. But when I made videos back then just talking about all these different functions and features. It's different now because of the Global PSO2 and how they approach it and how they release a bunch of stuff that's completely irrelevant to what I had made. So yes, there's a lot of differences here and there. I still need to address some of it. I still got a lot of videos prepped and ready or planned out, but the problem is I need you to get footage and most of these videos that I want to talk about, especially with PSO2, they will require a script and I'm still writing a bunch of stuff. I'm writing stories on the sidelines as well, doing a bunch of other works. So I'm all over the goddamn place. However, I will try to produce a couple videos here and there and you'll notice a change of how my videos are presented and like different approaches in general in terms of how I go about editing them and whatnot. I'm going to be trying out a bunch of new things pretty much. And you'll see a bunch of new content as well here and there. I might make several game series just because I want to make them and I'm missing them and whatnot. I'll be talking about some other things that caught my interest as well, especially the big one that is in correlation with PSO2 that I was kind of wondering why the hell well you'll see that video it's a surprise but uh yeah I I'm trying to get back into things it's just that once again I had to address some things in real life and ultimately here's the thing about how I do things I had to be motivated to do the things and not only that I had to be in the right mood PSO2 is that neutral game that I'm okay with as long as I don't do anything stupid in terms of talking here and there. I play PSO2 because of my pals, but most of my pals are leaving the game or just, they're just waiting for NGS now. And that's hard for me to enjoy the game because, you know, I'm playing the game alone now. Uh, I mean, I can always make... I can always meet new people and chat with them and stuff, but I also had to be in the mood to do that as well. The problem is, if I'm not in a good mood, especially what I was dealing with in November and how my mood turned fucking sour fast because of what was going on in the United States and the things that were popping up here and there. Uh, let's just say that anything that would agitate me will fucking agitate me. It will get to the point where I would want to say a lot of mean things. 
So, yeah, I wasn't playing PS2 as much because of that. And when I do my recordings, I try to be in a neutral slash okay mood. I mean, sometimes I try to do a recording when I'm in a pissy mood, but most of the times when I did that, it did. It, it's like a 50-50. It's either going to go, well, what did it say 50-50? 30-30-30. Or 33, 33, 33, 33 of the time, 33% of the time it's gonna be good, 33% of the time it's gonna be neutral, 33% of the time it's just fucking bad. So I try to avoid being pissed off <laughs> with some of the thing. I, I, I just try to avoid playing this game, do a bunch of recordings with this game when I'm in a hissy mood. Uh, if it's video game wise related, then that's understandable. If it, but if it's just me and me dealing with like shit in real life and stuff, no, I don't need to put that in game and bring fucking drama to other people and you know into like my friends and whatnot. But yeah, I just been you know taking it easy. I've been thinking about the various things I need to do. But another thing I do need to address is the difference of my videos because here's the thing. I'm a fucking Odie in terms of PSO2. If you get to watch my videos, most of the videos aren't going to be noob friendly, except for fixing. But most of the times I cover things that are for late game and whatnot. There's a bunch of other PSO2 content creators that can be one, fucking enjoyable. Two, they can provide a bit more information compared to my sorry ass. Or three, they're just actually into the game. The problem with me is that I have a love and hate relationship with this game. And this kind of piggybacks on a separate video that I will go more into details about. It might be in an informal form of video, I don't know. I need to debate on if I want to write a script for it. But the thing is, I'm a vet. Now, when I use vet, it's, an inf it's emphasizing more on the time and the experience. It's like a military vet, especially if they went to war in Iran. But especially if they're like very fucking old and they fought in like Vietnam War or something. That's how I describe myself in terms of me describing myself as a vet for PSO2. I'm a vet because one, I was playing actively in the very beginning and I just seen all these changes and patterns that have happened throughout the game. And that kind of puts me in a, in a weird spot because like there's a bunch of, once again, people that love this game, but I don't think a lot of people would go in depth on like the cons of this and I will most likely make videos talking about the cons of PSO2 and just how weird of a game it is. Don't get me wrong, it is popular, especially for the Japanese side of things. And this, this is like one of the games that Sega has been doing well with, but um, it's just a game, weird game for me to try to advertise just because there's a lot of things that you kind of need to be familiar with, but at the same time not. But it's just weird, and I'll explain more once again in a separate video. But because I'm old, especially since I've been playing this game actively for roughly around five years, I played this game in the what well, in 2014 uh, to summer of 2014, and right now it's almost like the end of 2020, and we're going into 2021. So that's roughly around six years. But I can take off one year from those six years because. I didn't play during episode 5. I know that for sure because one, I had a fucking toaster laptop that I couldn't play the game on and secondly, I just wasn't as active and I don't know when they released certain stuff for episode 5. I was active through episode 1 through 3. I was active a bit, like 70% of the time for episode 4 and then I got back into the game at the end of episode 5 and then throughout episode 6 which is like 2019 and 2020. So, I have a long history with it, but obviously, you know, some of my old tutorial videos, they're obsolete because there's a bunch of changes that had happened because of the global release. And some of the stuff that I mentioned in my old videos talking about like certain ways to level up and stuff is completely different now with global because global didn't do the same thing. Like the exact same thing that episode 1 through 3 had and they took out a bunch of features, they... You know, they did a lot of stuff and I'll cover it all in separate videos, but because of this sort of experience and me being a vet, I I'm not the best guy to go to when it comes to making a bunch of videos talking about a bunch of noob friendly beginner stuff. There's like a lot of people who are passionate about PSO2 and they love the game to the point where, you know, they're, they're trying to get people to advocate the game more and do a bunch of stuff. Now, there's something that 
popped up on my radar recently, which I do want to fucking talk about and address because uh, let's just say I fell into the rabbit hole. If you, if you know what I'm talking about, then there will be a video talking about that damn thing. But uh, yeah, the thing is with PSO2, it's 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 one of the it's a weird MMORPG game where I love and hate it, and I just have a lot of years behind it compared to like those who are playing on global because. You know, if you if it's your first time playing on PS2, especially if you're playing on Global, you kind of got the experience from Episode 4 all the way up to 6. In, in a nutshell, compared to you playing actual Episode 1 through 3. And there's bits of hints and stuff that I have in my video mentioning the huge difference. The one huge regret that I have is not playing the story as it was in the past. Because I was playing the game in Episode 2. And, uh, the approach to the story was completely different. It's, it's different from how you guys play the story now. Especially with the old matter boards and the things that you had to farm for. And how hard it was to actually get endgame weapons. Like, especially at the top rarity, especially in episode 1 through 3. It was fucking hard. Now, they did nerf a couple things, but the, the point is, there's a lot of differences that I've seen. And a lot of the vets can say the same shit as well. They can say the same things. But, um, yeah, I'll, I'll be going a bit more critical with PSO2 and just explaining a bunch of points. Now, you might agree in or disagree, but it's entirely up to you to, you know, figure that out. Like, you have your own opinions from playing the game, or maybe you don't know much about the game and you want to hear some opinions before trying it out. I don't know your approach. It's just that I have a lot to say with PSO2. There's a lot of content that I can do, but... Ultimately, for me, it's going to be a roller coaster to try to pump out PSO2 content because I'm old, and th this is like my 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 ride with PSO2 right now. It's going to go up and down, especially with the current state of the Japanese PSO2. I played the Japanese PSO2, and I could try to play global, but honestly, I don't have the fucking time to do that. I don't have a lot of time to play a bunch of video games or like micromanage two fucking accounts now. No. I can't do that. I could have, if I really wanted to, and if I realized how fucking global was uh, not conscious of certain things, I could have uh, stayed on global and just be fucking rich over there and just stay rich and just play with the goddamn market and just you do that instead, instead of playing the actual fucking game. Anyways, I'm getting off topic. This video isn't supposed to be fucking concrete anyways. It's just me talking, blabbering, and doing a bunch of crap. Note that I will be cursing a bit more because I feel like I'm gonna be lying to myself if I try to keep it fucking friend family friendly and stuff. Like, don't get me wrong, if I get to monetize it, I do monetize a bit of my videos here and there, but if I do plan to monetize it and be professional about it, then I will cut down on the cursing and stuff, but if you get talk with me naturally and shit, I'm, I'm just gonna be cursing every now and then. Or if I'm gonna be chill with the damn video, I'm gonna be cursing every now and then. Obviously, my sister's not gonna like that. She, she can listen in on the, uh, in the background, but, uh, yeah, she's not a big fan of it, but, hey, look, I I'm, I'm doing the video as I want to do it. But, yeah, it's, uh, this, this video isn't gonna be fucking organized <laughs> as well. I'm just gonna be talking, just because I can fucking talk. It's been a while since I even uploaded a video anyways. But, yeah, it's been fucking six years with this game. It takes goddamn years, and now we're getting NGS. I'm, I, I got a lot to say. I got a lot to say, like, the the things that I have planned, they require a lot of st stupid scripts that I have to type up. And once again, I'm doing several other projects on the sideline, especially with me making a story. I'm not going to talk about it as much because this is a different story than the one that I've already been talking about every now and then in the past. But yeah, it's just that, uh... Oh, wow. Uh, old pal of mine just messaged me. Yeah, there's a lot that I, that I can fucking talk about. It's just that... That, um, you'll see all these separate videos. It's just that I wanted to release a video just chatting and stuff. I'll be mentioning some of the videos that I mentioned in this video. I'll be working on the one that caught my fucking attention badly. But I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm gonna talk to my old buddy that just whispered me right there. If you wanna give me what you've been doing on PSO2 or if you're planning to join the Japanese PSO2 and whatnot, then let me know. I will most likely make a guide and video talking about the Japanese PSO2. But I will have to make a video prior to that, emphasizing on how Global is different from the Japanese PSO2 approach. Until Global's caught up with all of the Japanese PSO2, then I might make a video addressing that, but... Right now, there's a huge difference. Like, if you plan to play on the Japanese PSO2, the things that you need to do in-game are different from what is going on in Global and vice versa. 
Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I have some opinions about the speed of Global PSO2 as well, but yeah, you, you'll see all that. Once again, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.